మీడియా మిత్రుల్ని కొంచెం వెనక్కి వెళ్ళాలని కోరుతున్నాం ఆల్ ద ఫ్రెండ్స్ ప్లీజ్ సెటిల్ డౌన్ సో వీ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెషన్ అందరూ మీడియా మిత్రులు అండ్ ఆల్ ద ఫ్రెండ్స్ ప్లీజ్ సెటిల్ డౌన్ సో వీ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెషన్ Let's invite our director of NIT Varangal, Professor N.V. Ramana Rao, for his words. Distinguished Chief Guest of today's inaugural ceremony of Swing Speed 23, Sri Konidaila Pohan Kalyan Garu, Dean Student Welfare, Professor Abhik Mar Puli, Professor M. Hiralal, Faculty Advisor, my dear Event Manager, Mr. Narendra Nayak, my dear Student Coordinators and Spring Spring Coordinators. At the outset, let me extend a very warm welcome on behalf of NIT Varangal to the Chief Guest. National Institute of Technology, Varangal, is a public technical and research university it is recognized as an institute of national importance by the government of india the foundation stone for this institute was laid by the then prime minister mr jawaharlal nehru in 1959 the, it is the first in the chain of 31 nits in the country the institute was renamed as the national institute of technology varangal in 20, 2002 and it was later given a institute of national importance Today, we have more than 6,892 students in the campus. Most of these students are from Pan-India. We have some notable alumni in the cultural field, like Ram Jogai Shastri, who is a film lyricist. We have Kartikeya Gumakonda and actor Abhinav Sardar. Every year, NIT Varangal holds technical and cultural events throughout the year. Major annual events include Technosian, which is a technical festival, Spring Spree, which is a cultural festival, and Cura, which is a man management festival. In fact, uh, Spring Spree is an annual cultural festival of the National Institute of Technology. It is organized by the student fraternity of NIT Varangal. This cultural fest has a footfall of around 10,000 and participation of around 600 colleges. It started in 1978. So this event helps the students to break the monotonous class schedules from the dietary courses. It has been now established as one of the best cultural festivals of the nation, enticing massive participation from the very center to the remote corners. Over the years, we have had famous and ingenious artists highlighting the festival with their esteemed presence and we are very happy to welcome you, Professor. Coming to our chief guest, uh, Brief Bayadatta, Pawan Kalyan, as you all know, is an Indian actor, filmmaker and a politician. He won the Filmfare Award of Best Actor for the Telugu film, Gabbar Singh. While Attar Intiki Dharedi held the record of being the highest grosser Telugu film. <coughs> he was listed by Google as the most searched Indian celebrity. He was listed by Google as the most searched Indian celebrity politician on Google search. He is widely known for his philanthropic activities. He has founded a charitable trust called Common Man Protection Force. To assist citizens of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. He holds a black belt in karate.
and specialized in various martial arts. Sir, I welcome you to address the gathering. Jai Telangana. Naku Punar Janmanichina Telangana Nera Jaliki Koti Dandalu, Telijas Kuntu Ekasila Torunto, Urugalu Nagarani. Eka Sila Nagaranga, Marchina Silpulu Sakshiga, Vay Stambalato, Vela Sotral and a Chekucha Rakunda and Lobade, Guru Nirminchana, Ujulu Sakshiga, Gulsuka to Cherulato, Nitin Vodisipate, Budu Bumulo, Sirulu Pandinchana, Kakatiya Engineering Sakshiga, Bagavatani, Bharati Yanikandinchana, Bamarapotana Sakshiga, Na Telangana, Koti Ratana, Vena and Gunti Padina, Dasaridi Sakshiga. Putukanidi, Saunidi, Majula Patakanta, Desaradani, Desabakti Ragalinchina, Kaloji, Sakshiga, Nanui Karakraman Kipilchina, NIT Vija Samsaku, Ivorugala Gadaku, Danyavada, Erosna NIT Varangalwar Nirvaisana, Spring Spree, Cultural Karakramanikin and Swagato Panyasam, Koratam Nisanga Nanu, Saladr Shanga Bavisna. I would like to begin by thanking the organizing committee for the invitation. I would like to thank Professor Ramna, N. V. Ramna Rao Garu, Director NIT Varangal, Professor Ravi Kumar Puli, Dean Student Welfare, Professor Hiralal, Faculty Advisor, Sri Narendra Nayak, Event Manager, and Student Council by Bahuredi and Student Coordinators. Professor Alan Kishor Garu, formal faculty advisor, deans, advisors, registrar, head of department, student coordinators, Mr. Ajay Gurunath, Piyush, Ms. Amulya, Harika, Mr. Loke, student council secretaries, Mr. Devraj, Mr. Vaibhav, and others respected faculty, supporting staff, dear students and participants from various colleges, press and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all. Nanu, the student council, the cultural festival, the Pilogan in Ogadarian, Nenu, the function Kirado, am I worth coming here? Am I worth being called? I have my doubts because I'm not a regular student. I never went to colleges and never went to, though I went to college, discontinued college, I never went to universities. But I never stopped learning. I'm still a student. So that's the only criteria. I came here as a, a fellow student, not as someone who is experienced or who has achieved something. I came like you. I want to seek something from you. I want to learn something from you. That's what made me to uh, come to this Spring Spree Cultural Festival. Varangal Gurinchi, Shepu Gowal and Mundiga, Rani Rudrama Devi Nela, Hazari Mangamma, Angarakshukaraliga Rani Rudrama Devi ki Tirigadi Nela, Bammera Potana, Bhagavatani Rachinchana Nela, Dasaradi Krishna Chari Lagaru, Kaloji Gari Rani Mahan Baal Endro. Ochni Vurgalaki Nakucha Vakasim, Yudanga Labinchan Duku Manspurtiga, 
ధన్యవాదాలు తెలుపుకుంటా ఉన్నాం ఐ రియలైజ్డ్ ఇట్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎక్రాస్ ఎంటైర్ ఎంటైర్ ఇండియా పాన్ ఇండియా ఆల్ దస్ టు ఆల్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ డిఫరెంట్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ హు ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ డిఫరెంట్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్స్ హోల్ హార్టెడ్లీ హోల్ హార్టెడ్లీ ఐ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ టు యూ ఆల్ మై హార్ట్ ఫెల్ట్ నమస్కార్స్ టు యూ ఆల్ ఫస్ట్ లెట్ మీ బిగిన్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ యూస్ టు గోయింగ్ టు కాలేజెస్ గోయింగ్ టు యూనివర్సిటీస్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ యూస్ టు ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ థింగ్ ఫర్ మీ టు గివ్ ఎ స్పీచ్ a different speech like this i don't like to give you any kind of advice but i would like to share few things from my life which would be of any kind of help if it could become any kind of help i would be glad by the end of this speech so almost 6 decades back when pandit jawaharlal nehru and pandit jawaharlal nehru opened up this no one would thought this is going to give a produce a, a brilliant students who would contribute to the indian economy indian science and technology advancement no one would have thought so that kind of from that kind of situation almost it finished six decades and the most beautiful aspect about this cultural festival is it's not just mere about sciences technology making this as a cultural festival to bring out the students and to celebrate a 3 day to 7 day event like this would be really a great transformation art science and technology is needed in life for our betterment for our advancement but art is the one which unites us all whether you are a maharashtrian you are a tamilian you are a telugu telangana andhra no matter which state north and sikkim nagaland no matter wherever you are from it is the art which unites us all that's the reason even a song like not not to could go to the oscar and could unite all of us so i had interesting stories about nit some of you might be going for a campus placements first let me congratulate you i hope you all the best i don't know what exactly to say in uh, english but i would like to say in telugu me hostel majjilo unna ee canteen paina chettlu nunchi any bird dropping if it falls on your shoulders or somewhere on your body it makes you that you get a placement so that's what i heard so hopefully without going through that process i wish you all the best to go through the placement i wish you all get a right jobs for your abilities and for your expertise i would like to say culture is the one which really unites us all you are all science students and humanity is is very very essential humanity is the one gives the purpose philosophy art forms social sciences this all would give you the purpose of any invention the ultimate learning for anything is for a betterment of other other human beings betterment for all the individuals for entire humanity so in that we are really learning and this festival really made me quite interesting as it's a cultural festival i'm interested in right from in my childhood right from my childhood long back i read a book called when i was a kid 1000 great lives it's about the 15th century renaissance man Leonardo da Vinci who was the inventor a military engineer sculptor painter what not 
It's all about It's all about a complete development, a total human development. So Leonardo da Vinci was uh, my role model as a kid. I never admired or never saw any... Uh, the, my hero was uh, Leonardo da Vinci. All through my life, I want to be like him, to become an inventor, to become a scientist, to become so many things. But somehow, I could not achieve it, but had never stopped walking in his footsteps. So this kind of learning, we have to take Leonardo da Vinci as a role model. Never stop learning. I had never stopped learning till to date. If you look at all you are equipped with a great knowledge, great expertise, but if all the knowledge and expertise does not help the, our fellow human beings or humanity, the purpose would be lost. If you look at Israel, with the one river, Jordan, with all the difficulties, the terrain, which is not convenient for agriculture, and completely surrounded by so many hostile nations, but they're able to do extreme innovation in, the, in agriculture, in military technology, in IT, what not many things. Somehow it all depends on never run away from a conflict. Never run away from any kind of adversity. Especially never run away, run away from any kind of failure. Be damn confident. If you go through failures, face it. Go through it and break the pattern and achieve that. So for me, any kind of hardship, any kind of hostile environment, I take it as a challenge. And never run away from any kind of defeat. I never walk out from any kind of failure. And learning is a continuous process. And I know that today if I fail, tomorrow I'm going to win. It is not about, it's not just about what I'm going through. But right from my childhood, this is what I told myself. Be a dreamer. You don't lose anything. At this age, when you're in teens, when you're just in the early 20s, you will go through a lot of things. You'll go through humiliation. Would I be successful? You have many kind of doubts, speculations. But one thing, be very clear. No matter what, you're going to achieve it. All the failures, every possible negative situation, you can turn it into a positive manner and you can pave the path for success. And it is about... So many people, every day do, uh, what I do is, I do a little bit every, of everything. I have a 5-year plan, a 10-year plan, a 20-year plan. Whether I achieve it or not, I keep on pursuing, I keep on doing that hard work. I never run away from any kind of negative situation. And also, you have to have a very strong moral code of yours. What, is, what are your rights and what are your wrongs? What is your code of conduct? Legally you might be right, but morally one could be wrong. So it is about, you try to have your own moral compass. It is not, don't try to... I don't, for example, when I was doing my intermediate, I had a chance to pass the exam by taking some slips and my friends were copying. I was looking at it. I would have passed, but I thought, would I feel good by the end of the day? Suddenly I remembered Mohandas Karamchand Gandhiji's life, uh, life lesson when he tried to copy in a school and he said no to it. So I took the example of Gandhiji and never copied. Okay. I didn't succeed, but I failed. I took that failure in a dignity rather than coming in a cutting in a shortcut way and achieving exam results, good results. I prefer to be a failure with honesty.
so that's what i believe because you have to have a very strong moral compass so what are you, what are your moral guidelines what would be you would be planning to achieve in which way don't have any kind of shortcuts in life shortcuts might be giving you an edge for a time being eventually you would you would get caught up with your wrongs so i advise you i request you don't cut short don't try to take shortcuts in life face the hardships face the difficulties and you would be a better person society has so many intellectual so many capable people and you know about the first father of nuclear bomb oppenheimer technology and innovation should have a human face we should have empathy and oppenheimer after blasting the first nuclear bomb he said we have unleashed death i have become the death merchant and that kind of technology would will never make us happy it is about a simple invention a simple app which would better lives for example in recent times we know about steve jobs he's the greatest modern day innovator his apple is one of the most valuable companies on the planet with the line of products from apple laptops to ipods and iphones apple products are tech savvy classy and comes with great features if you had iphone 13 last year this year you had to buy the next one and next year and so on but the key question to ask is how many indians can afford the latest iphone how many people in the world can afford iphone not even 5% of the world can afford i apple products but thousands of techies in global giant like apple spend 90% of its <coughs> r&d and time for that niche 2 to 3% of world population <coughs> but what i would prefer is i'll never say steve job kind of entrepreneurs are not needed but they they need it but i would like to share one more story of how many of you would would be knowing this story is dr dilip mahalanibis during the 1971 liberation war <coughs> over 10 million people from nearby areas of present day bangladesh entered into india as refugees a massive cholera epidemic started in the refugee camps there were hardly any medicines or trained staff or doctors dr dilip mahalanibis deployed the ors Uh, ors therapy which is known as oral rehydration solution even before it was given approval by the authorities even though the doctor took the flak this time this timely intervention saved millions of people and thanks to his ors therapy it saved 5 crores lives globally today all the 190 plus countries use ors the lancet journal called the ors therapy as the greatest discovery of 20th century in but he never patented that's what i'm trying to say his brilliance his intelligence intelligence his intellectual prowess he never paid about in spite having everything but he never patented this his therapy and did not exploit it for a commercial purpose at the age of 87 years the great human being passed away last year and was awarded the padma padma vibhushan by the government of india even today 24 by 7 365 days his innovation saves millions of people all over the world so my advice is to all the graduates gonna be graduates here is to think about ideas and innovation that are simple successful sustainable scalable and work on tech that improves social mobility and reduces inequalities so admire and adore steve jobs but find your own dilip mahlani bis in you besides all the jaws gloss and shiny glitz what's more important is not the tech but the impact which is going to cause to the to your fellow human being
And you think about Nikola Tesla. He had 300 imp uh, innovations, inventions, but he never patented. He gave all his patent rights. And he believes that it should belongs, it belongs to the world. And look at, I look at very heroes, not from on silver screen. Don't look at me and don't adore me, but adore the people who made you to come here. A teacher in a school, a teacher in a college, a professor who taught you something. Maybe heroes are good to be entertained. Even including me, I'm saying, I'm okay to be entertained. But don't, you have to take, you have to look at the heroes who are beside, around you. Maybe from your parents' side. That's what I believe in. In Telugu, one of the... <coughs> Maybe students from the rest of India might find it interesting and why people are shouting when I'm drinking water. Maybe they love me, that's why. Yeah. So Nikola Tesla. So we have to look at heroes around. If you look at a simple man called Dasarath Manji, if you look at all these kind of people, I think of a Telugu poet, a revolutionary pro poet, who has inspired many people to serve, uh, to serve people who are away from development, under development, that kind of people he had influence. His name is Sri Sri. And he says, Taj Mahal Nirmana Ne Kiralitana Kuli so why I'm saying this is, and uh, how many people, hard, how many, how much of hard work went in building up Taj Mahal? That's what he questions, a rhetorical question. So in the same way, you should think about how many people had made you to come to REC, uh, sorry, uh, NIT. How many people must have made their, made their contribution to be what you are today? So it's a time to pay back. Once you achieve something, it's a time to pay back. I'll share an example from my own life. I did around uh, four to five, I think around five to seven films. I'm a mad, committed patriot. I'm in love with my nation. I'm in love with my linguistic differences. I'm in love with my country's, our country's cultural identities. With all this, I want to do something. When I grow up, I want to do some kind of contribution to my nation. But I was very disappointed the way society and politics function. So by the time I, finished, I did a film called Kushi, I was very disappointed and depressed. I thought I want to do something for my nation, for my society. But I said, sad man, I can't do any damn thing. It all, all the development, all the change happens in cinema. Even if I want to do something, a little trivial help to someone, there's so many obstacles. Whatever the system doesn't allow me to do. I was so tired. I was so irritated with my own self and the society around me. And like anyone else, even I was also blaming the society. And I said, I want to migrate to New Zealand. I shot the, my few songs in uh, uh, New Zealand uh, uh, for Kushi film. I like that country. I want to migrate to that country. And if you pay somewhere around 50 lakhs to one crore, you could migrate at that point of time. I don't know right now how is the procedure. I got my migration, immigration papers. And I kept it for one month. Every day I look, I want to put a signature, I want to send it, I want to leave this country. And only I'll come for work because the reason is, and I'm the same guy, with my kind of anthem, I said, mera jaha, ye mera ghar, ye mera ashya, ye meri dunia. And I was the one with such a fervor and commitment. I got it written and I performed. But I'm the same guy who wanted to migrate. And something asked me inside, it is a society who made you for what you are. And today you're seeking your selfishness after making a name. You want to run away from, the, from your responsibilities. And my conscience kill me. So I tore the papers, I stayed within my country, and I'm serving my country within my own way. The last day so I Pari Poledu, New Zealand Kaledu. Kastamo Nastavana Desulana Wundalan Pari Poledu. 
I don't want to serve. So my my share, my thought is, it's about how many people made me, how much hard work went in making a film or doing something, uh, got me educated, my parents and everything. It is this nation, this society, which gave, gave me all this. So I decided that I would never run away from this nation, even. I'm not saying all the people who have gone abroad or something, they're not, I'm not saying they're wrong, but there are a lot of people who want to come and contribute to our nation. You all dream, one day I want whatever the brain drain went to other countries, one day in the same, some form, I want them to create such kind of atmosphere in our country where they would come and contribute and make another, where they would contribute to become this country as a superpower. That's what I believe in and I, I request you all. Today what I'm sharing with you is, you are the, you are the future. And you have to take responsibility for your own life. You don't try to run away. Whatever I'm doing today, I started around two decades back. I said I made some money. I made a name. And I don't, just don't want to confine myself for my comforts. district in our Telangana. When they were going through fluoride issues, I said, I want to contribute. I want to do something. Somewhere in Adilabad, Tanda, when there is no drinking water, I want to do my bit part. But once why I have chosen politics is to serve more. I'm not interested in money. I'm not interested in fame. I'm not interested in taking, uh, giving autographs. I'm not interested. I'm interested only to serve the nation. I feel it is my payback. It is my gratitude because this country, not desam. This is what my country has given me. I want to make sure in my lifetime I'll pay back. In they say. Thank you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to With all your intellectual abilities, why I said Leonardo da Vinci in the beginning, Leonardo da Vinci or Nicholas Tesla, apart from their intellectual prowess and abilities and skills, they're physically very strong people. And it is like, as, as a Roman poet said, a sound mind in a sound body. Never, don't confine yourself only to intellectual stimulation. Physically, you have to be damn fit. Physically, you have to be strong. I urge you to become intellectual warriors. Intellectually, you have to be very strong. And physically also, one should be strong. And I'm that kind of, that's the reason why I went for martial arts is to make myself strong. It is not to hit people. It is not to abuse somebody, but to defend me, to defend myself at the same time, to have a, a very strong a physical discipline, which will have some kind of, uh, some kind of holistic development who would be there in me if I practice any martial arts. And you won't be cruel. If you know how to defend yourself, your violence quotient would be very, very minimal. And apart from that, never stop learning. Books are the training weights of the mind. Never stop learning. Even till today. In fact, I was sharing with one of your students, a former student. I was reading about, I used to read about a lot of uh, physics and uh, mathematics books. Even I still keep ordering books. Even I, I keep on reading about calculus, algebra. Not, not that I understand a lot. But I keep on learning because I had given up somewhere intermediate. Still, I try to learn algebra. Still, I learn to learn. Uh, still, I keep learning calculus. But the most beautiful thing is, I keep on learning physics and about uh, Douglas Hofstadter wrote a book called The Eternal Golden Brain. It's about the reason is one. Though I don't 
understand that much, but I keep on learning. It's because it keeps on stimulating my mind. And it always it limits me. Maybe I might be, if I go onto the roads, maybe I might be getting uh, lakhs of people, great encouragement, great love, which makes me egoistic. It could have made me egoistic if I would not be learning. The reason I keep on learning different subjects is it, it, keep, it teaches me humility. A subject which you don't know. A subject which you're not aware of. If you keep learning, what happens is you calm down yourself. I said I don't know something. If you assume only this is me, maybe because if I go out, lots of people might be appreciating me. I said I won't take it seriously. What I would take seriously is I am ignorant. I don't know much because I don't know this. I don't know about algebra. I don't know about calculus. I don't know much about physics. So most of the people, you have to have a whole brain development. Even for, for example, my friend, the director, Mr. Trivikram Srinivas also. So you have to understand in film industry, there are a lot of brilliant people out there. They're highly educated. He was a, Mr. Trivikram Srinivas is, he, was, he graduated from Andhra University in nuclear physics. He was a university gold medalist. But he has chosen his films to be carried uh, as a career. So arts and science can go together. Even if you look at James Cameron, he was an engineer. So all these things makes you to you somewhere you should understand the integrity, integrating science and humanities together. That makes you a far, far superior achiever. Till to date, though I, am, I come from the humanities background, I keep on learning sciences. I keep on understanding technology. I keep on updating myself on multiple subjects. So never stop exploring this, your learning in a, a comprehensive way. In, when you want to learn something, long back I read a book called Super learning. So anything you want to learn, it is a 10,000 hour job. At one point of time, I was scared to face crowds and never used to. I never used to be able to face crowds. I never used to be able to face crowds. I never used to be able to face crowds. I never used to be able I was continuously scared of everyone to express myself. Though I was reading a lot, I was absorbing a lot, I, want to pra I used to practice a lot, but I was scared. But I keep on conquering my fear. It's about, all of you must be developing your intellectual muscle and mental muscle. You also should develop a muscle of courage. Unless you keep on practicing it. Six pack, eight pack, heavy candle bench. We forget to pump up the courage. So you have to strengthen the, your, apart from your mental muscle, you have to pump up your muscle of courage. So never try to take any bold decision irrespective of failure. That's how you keep on growing. And as you keep growing, we are segregating. And I feel extremely. Good. So it's about, sorry to say, it's about 10,000 hour rule. Anything you want to learn in life, you can learn. But you have to give sufficient amount of time. It is minimum at 10,000 hours to get a mastery over it. So what I did was I used to keep on imagining myself that I would be speaking to lakhs of people. That's the only dream I had. And I want to say something without fearless. This is what I had practiced. I took responsibility and I had faced. And it is very, very essential when something is happening right in front of you. Some mistake is happening in front of you. Take responsibility. And you, when you face something, when you go through such and certain situations, for example, I used to get, like everyone else, 
once I was shooting a film called Tuliprema. Right in front of my eyes, someone had met with an accident. Something, uh, there was a biker, he collided with some uh, four wheeler and he fell down. His so entire body was, he was bleeding. And most of the people were looking at him. And they gathered around, including my own uh, shooting crew. They gathered around him. And everyone were having an opinion, but no one is taking charge. I was supposed to get into the sh shot. I was having a white shirt and a black trousers. I have forgotten everything. I lifted him, put him in the car, and taken him to the hospital. I said, help with the shooting. First, I want to save this man's uh, life. What I'm saying is, sometimes, in the process of achieving, we tend to overlook what is happening around us. I never made, I always made a choice. My success can stay, but this man's life should be saved. So I have, I have taken a, a, a choice where to stand someone who is losing, the verge of losing their life. So most of the time, this is how you pump up your muscle of courage, pump up your muscle of responsibility. As you keep doing, doing it only, you'll become a better human being. So that, that one thing I would like to share with you from my life. And second would be is, especially for the younger students, you came from different uh, states of India, our country. You came from, you must have come from Assam, Delhi, Rajasthan, Nagaland, Chhattisgarh from different southern states, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. And it is about, we all have cultural differences, we all have linguistic differences. We all have linguistic differences. We all have cultural differences. Let us not forget what unites us is Bharatiyata. No matter whether what you are, who you are, whether you are Tamilian, Tamil Rikalam, whether you could be Tamilian, you could be Canadian, you could no matter who you are, whoever you are, you are we are all Indians first. Bharati is the one which holds us, which binds us. So the only reason is we, and especially in college campuses, you will have many political ideologies, not just one. Different isms are there. But in the process of isms, in the pursuit of isms, never lose the focus of your humanism. Manavatwani isam lo padipoi rakarakal isam lo padipoi manavatwa ane isam ne matu daiche si man much power. And most, uh, most of your, uh, all of your scientific uh, science students and uh, science and technology students, you understand the concept of Venn diagram. The Venn diagram is all about three circles. No matter they look different, they have different data on uh, each circle, but there is a common intersection point. So think about it, no matter even with your bitterest enemies, with your bitter rivals, always try to find a common commonality and common uh, minimum uh, ground where you could come together and work together. So in that way, take inspiration from a Venn diagram, which, is, which, is, which should have been uh, taught at your school level. So take the inspiration from a Venn diagram, where we have to, we can be united, no matter how many different di di diversified ideologies we might be going through, but we can always, we can come together at a common minimum intersection point. So that's how I can uh, tell you about in a uh, Venn diagram. So my final words would be, I would like to say, Mahandra Jephthana, Manishulandaru matlade bashal prakaram vidipoi unnaru, unde desal prakaram vidipoi unnam, ada maga teadalaga vidipoi unnam, pedda chinnna vai silvari ga vidipoi unnam, art, science and groupal ga vidipoi unnam, engineering branch lo mechanic, chemical, computers and vidipoi unnam, artist lani, IT and engineer lani, tech and ruthu lvari ga vidipoi unkani, manandar ni irozuna kalipitis ko chindi, Manaloni Kalatpaka Gunao, this artistic festival. Yanto Mandin, we with the Desal and we with the Rastal and Jochinavarni, we with the Rutulavarni, Ada Maga, Tiara Lekunda, we with the Bashalavari, okay, good to keep this coach in Vedika, he springs free. He Vedika Manandra Kalavarani Karanam, Manandralo Dagiwana, artistic konam. So always, as I said, art unites the humanity.
and this is really proved it so my dear friends and the young beautiful minds scientific minds of scientific temperament whether it's through painting movies musical musical renditions technological marvels or engineering breakthroughs we should recognize and appreciate the artists within we are all artists in one way or the another and we need to realize that so go out there and make your mark on the world and be proud to say the world is my canvas the world is my celluloid the world is my workbench my circuit board the world is my operating system my hinge and lever the world is my guitar my tabla and my voice gnanam okkati nilichi veluguna anta swarga sukumulannu vi swarga sukumulannu vi avani velusulani teli chestuntu mendarki manaspurtiga dhanyavadalu teli chestuntu salavu teesukuntu ఎక్కడికి ఏ దేశం ఏగినా ఎందుకు కాలిడినా ఎక్కడికి వెళ్ళినా పొగడరా నీ తల్లి భూమి భారతిని మన మనందరినీ కలిపి ఉంచిన తల్లి భూమి భారతికి జే జేలు తెలుపుకుంటూ ధన్యవాదాలు తెలుపుకుంటూ నా అవక నాకు అవకాశాన్ని ఇచ్చిన ఎంఐటి పెద్దలకి పేరు పేరున ధన్యవాదాలు తెలుపుకుంటూ ద వరల్డ్ ఈజ్ యువర్స్ భవిష్యత్తు మీది future is yours and i expect you to all the students from all the nook and corner of our country make sure you going to decide the future of this nation don't let give it to anybody else you take complete control of this nation complete control of your future and make this country proud and i would like to do my bit part 